Hello friends, welcome again. Uh, in this video, I want to test the products, and for that I have created a model product, and I add the fillable for name, type, and price, and also I have added the, created a migration for the product, and here I add the name, type, and price. And also I have created the factory for the product and here it is the name, the type and the price. Okay, and uh, also I have created the product test which is empty right now. And if I test, artisan test, everything gets it's okay, but just this uh, product test does not have any test. Okay, so let's test the product. And I'm going to create the first test. So public function and test. Now I'm going to test for the route products. Is if, if it is a return. Uh, okay, so test the products road return okay I not I don't create any road so we are going to get an error but uh, just to test this so the response is going to be this cat products and now check if we get the status of 200 so dollar sign response uh, asset status 200 if i save and test this we have one failed and produce row to return okay expected 200 but received 404 and here is the Route. And why we have this 404? Because we don't have the uh, route. So if I go to the route, uh, web routes, and I'm going to create that. So route get and slash products and here I'm going to add the product controller which is not exist right now class and also add the index method and I'm going to name products dot index okay save go to the test and make a test and we have again failed the target class product controller does not exist okay let's go and create that or we can create here so artisan make a controller and product controller Okay, come here and now import this controller, save, run again the test, and now we have the product controller index does not exist, the method product controller index not also exists. So let's go and create that, open the product controller and create the method index public function index and I'm going to return the view products dot index and this is not it's not exist but just return it to see the error and run a test again and again we have the view products index not found 
you see how easy uh, this is uh, called TDD or test drive and Devel development so uh, in the views resources views create a new folder products and here new file index.blade.php index.blade.php and in here I'm going to add the x quest layout but uh, we need to change this to be x and the same thing here and right now just I'm going to say h1 uh, products index page just product index and try again a test and we have 8 passed so we have the product and return ok go to the product test and well, we can check again here if we see the products index here ok this uh, string so copy this and come here and say the response assert c and uh, this string save go and test and it passed okay let's create another test so uh, i'm going to create a new product and see if the product is created so if the is not empty i'm going to create a function a test the product as name and here we need to create a new product um, so the product is going to be we need to import the product and yeah we have the product here so product Uh, factory create okay I think we don't I don't have make a migration for the product so let the uh, run the artisan migrate for, uh, migrate yeah okay and uh, here we need to use the refresh database use refresh database because we are using a database here oh after the, we create in the product we can say uh, this assert now assert not empty if the assert is not empty and I'm going to add the product name okay save this and test artisan test and we have a uh, nine passed so the user has name attribute oh and the product has name so here is the products test okay let uh, display the products here so here I'm going to say products sorry dollar sign products is going to be product all okay we need to import this product model and add 
a product here. So compact, not component, but compact. Okay. And add the products. Okay, save this. Now in the index, I'm going to say here, Uh, for each or for else, what you want. So for else, dollar sign products as a product, dollar sign product, and display here the edge to dollar sign product name. And after that, p tag and display the product type. Okay, if it is empty, we are going to say uh, no products. Okay, save this and come here and now we are going to test if we don't have any products. So let's uh, come here and say public function uh, test the products are empty. Sorry, products are empty. And we can say now dollar sign the response. Okay, this get products. Products. And after that, we can say dollar sign response. Assert C. Now, to, if that is empty, we, if we don't have any products, we are going to display this now products. So for that I'm going to copy this and say response are cert C the no products. And if I uh, save this and come here and test artisan test and we have 10 passed. So products are empty. Now, uh, if we have a product, if you go here, we display the product and we can uh, uh, change this and say, for example, or create another one. Test the products are not empty. And uh, here, first we need to create the product. So the product, product create. And uh, the response, this get products, assert, don't see now, assert, don't see. If I save, And come here and test. Yeah, passed. That's okay. Or we can say, for example, uh, if we see we see the product name here. So change again this to assert C, and we pass the product name here. Dollar sign. Product name. Okay, because the product name is in here if we have the products. And if I run test again, again we have pass, so products are not empty. And that's it for this uh, video, friends. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.